Illinois Republicans say that they are concerned Governor J.B. Pritzker is withholding money for schools. WGEM's Capitol Bureau Chief Mike Militich live in Springfield with more. Dylan Alexandra, $350 million should be distributed across the state due to the evidence-based funding model created in 2017. But the proposal for 2021 that Governor Pritzker made yesterday would only send $200 million across the state and leave the rest in a hold, basically in case his graduate income tax proposal isn't approved by voters. That is only a chunk of the $1.4 billion left in reserves. Because this reserve is so large, it inevitably cuts into some of the things that we all hold most dear. Increased funding for K-12 education, universities and community colleges, public safety, and other key investments. This bullying tactic to hold funding to our schools hostage um, and our students in order to get his way not only is irresponsible but presents a false choice. Assistant House Republican Leader Avery Bourne says school districts are required to present their final budgets before any ballot measure is decided by voters. She says that leaves school officials in the awkward position of hiring and funding classroom resources before residents know the outcome of the governor's graduated income tax question. In order to be responsible, in order to make sure that we take care of education at our local level, we, we don't play games like this. Representative Randy Fries says school officials shouldn't have to worry about a shakeup of the funding model just years after it passed the state house. Woodstock Representative Stephen Reich agrees. They have hard caps on the times and the amount that they can that they can budget. Otherwise, if they if they overshoot their mark, they got to go to the taxpayers and ask for a levy increase. They don't want to do that. Nobody wants to do that. Senator Heather Staines, one of the top Democratic budgeteers for several years now, says the governor's proposal is a good starting point, but she also agrees that lawmakers should work together for a better idea to fund education. For now, reporting live in Springfield, Illinois, Mike Militich, WGM News. Okay, Mike, thanks so much.